This is how cement tiles are handmade at one of the few workshops left in Egypt. The craft has been around since the 1800s, when cement became a cheap and efficient way to build. But for Syed Hussein, it's an art form. Even though other types of tiles have threatened his business, he stayed true to his trade. We visited Cairo to see how his workshop is still standing. Syed has been making tiles since he was 12 years old, and much of his process is still the same. He begins with sifting white cement. Once it's become a fine powder, he mixes in pigments to get just the right hue. Working with colors is his specialty. Then he adds in water. Sayed pours each color into its own section using one of his stencils. He's had these for over 35 years. He works slowly and precisely to navigate the finer details. Some designs Syed does freehand. He tops off the mold with a mixture of sand, cement, and limestone, a crucial step to ensure the pattern stays in place. Then, he sends it through the hydraulic press. The machine's pressure solidifies the cement within seconds. Syed learned this craft from his father, who worked at a shop owned by Greek immigrants. Cement tiles have roots in other parts of Europe, too. Factories started popping up in countries like the UK and France during the 1800s right after cement was discovered as a cheap and efficient building material. And in Belgium, the industry flourished after World War I, when the country needed rebuilding and cement tiles were an affordable option. Eventually, changing tastes in Europe's tile market pushed cement aside by the mid-20th century. And in Egypt, Syed says ceramic and marble tiles took over the market in the 1990s, shaking up his business. He says since then, the high cost of materials and hard physical labor have steered workers away from the craft. Syed was able to stay in business by making new, cheaper designs. Now, he and his two employees are among the few tile makers left. 
His team can make up to 150 tiles in just a day. They sell one square meter of them for 500 Egyptian pounds, or $31, to people around Cairo. Syed has been offering free apprenticeships to young craftsmen for the past 40 years to keep the traditional process going. And he says not just anybody can master it. But the most important thing for Syed is that this art lives on. ممكن بإذن الله يعني الشغلانة دي تكمل معنا إن شاء الله يعني قل مئة سنة للصناعية تشتغل فيها وتبقى إن شاء الله كويسة يعني.